from the trade market out there, yeah. is there a player or players that Boston should be targeting to fill some of those key roles? So when I was talking about Stasny at the, as far as avail, available player right now, and he could play center ice, we know that they're missing center ice depth, if you will, in Boston, but they need top two line center mm -hmm. depth, right? Because I think they've already got the centers in Zaka and Coyle, if those, if those guys are going to play center. Those are more like middle six Center, and they need a top guy. And there is a guy in Winnipeg, Mark Shifley, that I think is screaming the Boston Bruins. The way he plays, his ability is a big, strong right hand shot. And uh, I think he's going to be motivated. And, and, and he wants to, and he, his compete levels is, is there. And, and I don't know what that looks like. I don't know. You know, he's got one year left on his deal. He's going to be UFA. And maybe that's a trade. But when I look at the, the Bruins, they have a gaping hole. In, in their center ice position. And you can see it right there. That looks pretty good yeah, there. That looks really a lot good. more like with the team we saw last year. I mean, they're still going to miss Bergeron Krejci. Those are world class players. But this is a team that has strength. Where, where's their strongest area, Jamo? In net. In net. I got two gems. I, I think I think if a Mark Shifley, if you can call a Winnipeg Jets and you give up one of your goaltenders, which is going to be tough because that is a strength of this team. Which guy? I'd give, young up, stud or the I'd give up the trophy winner. I'd go the Vezina trophy winner. I think that I think that you can make a, a very juicy trade for your club um, with Allmark, and I think Jeremy Swayman. Both these guys were fantastic last year, but Swayman's the guy. He's your prospect. You, you've put this time in with him, and, and he's got the ability too. You're going to have a great goaltender regardless, but that is a strong suit of theirs that I think they're going to have to at some point this season. They're going to have to break up in order to fulfill other parts of their lineup. And if you can get Mark Shifley, and that's a big ask mm -hmm. to get Elias Allmark, the reigning Vesna guy. Yeah. But the thing with Shifley would be uh, you'd be open to that if you get Shifley and that extension for Mark Shifley. Uh, that, to me, brings the Bruins right back into the mix. All right, so you're breaking up the big hugs there in Boston. So if Linus Allmark does go to Winnipeg, that means Winnipeg's got uh, a, couple a, goalies. Nice little, a nice little <laughs> yeah. problem, so to speak, in net with Connor Hellebuck, who also has just one year remaining on his deal. And he's kind of been vocal about hey I don't know if Winnipeg's the future for me I want to go somewhere at this point in my career and have a shot at winning yeah. so where do you move Connor Hellebuck so this is the catchy part with Connor Hellebuck because I, I think that he can demand and we've heard those rumors out there about that nine million dollar range mm -hmm. uh, I don't you kind of hesitate especially what's been going on in the goalie market the last few years is by committee right and we right. get a lot of goalies that are you look at what Vegas did but you can't argue what Connor Hellebuck has done. He has been up there with Andre Vasilevsky. He's one of the best goalies in the NHL for the past five years. He wants to go win a cup. I don't know if it means a $9 million extension, but he's got this year. New Jersey Devils scream that for me. And I know that that rumor has been out there. I don't know what that looks like. And here's the comparison right here. I mean, you're talking, um, you're talking, he's been very, very good. His numbers have been uh, world class as far as goaltending. And uh, again, I don't know if New Jersey would have the appetite at that rate for that type of an extension for Connor Hellebuck. And maybe that changes the asking price or what Winnipeg can get because you're obviously if you can get the player and an extension out of that, then Winnipeg is going to get more out of out of the deal. But I mean, the Devils, they've got Alexander Holtz. They've got a, a former first round pick. They've got players and pieces. Yeah. I just think that opportunities like this only come around once in a while. Yep. And this Devils team, just like last year when they went and got Timo Meyer, they, they, they're a contender. Yeah. And I would say the only position that possibly, I wouldn't even want to say it's holding them back because their goaltending is, has been very good at different times. But this is an X factor. Yeah, these are like this could be a strength of your team. Mm -hmm. When you're going toe to toe and we're lining things up and I like the four group, Devils advantage. D, Devils advantage. Goaltenders, if we can say Devils advantage, this team might win a Stanley yeah. Cup, so I think they go get Connor Hellebuck. If you're the Devils, do you bring in Hellebuck regardless of the fact that he's going to sign that long-term extension, or are yes. you in a win now? Let's sign him and see what happens. We deal with that. We deal with that later. Yeah. You know, because and that's all part of it too. The the psyche of a player, and, and I'm not trying to get into the mind of Connor Hellebuck, and and uh, you know, he he all players deserve their own right to make a decision. Yeah. But let's just say. Connor Hellebuck would go to New Jersey on an expiring contract and go on a long run. Maybe they win the cup, go to the cup, go to Eastern Conference Finals. Now all of a sudden, if you're the Devils, yeah, he, he wants to get paid, but right. also he wants to still he wants to end his career playing competitive hockey. Yeah. And maybe that even brings that number down a little bit. Maybe signs more of a shorter term deal with it. It's it's interesting how some of those things play out. When guys experience winning and it looks like you're gonna win consistently, 
you'll move heaven and earth to stay there. Absolutely. And we'll see if he does. All right. Uh, speaking of winning, Toronto's done a lot of winning just in the regular season. Come playoff time, not the case. They've got a massive expiring contract coming up next summer in Austin Matthews. We know about the core four up there. That's a lot of money, and there's only so much wiggle room when it comes to the uh, the salary cap. A guy like William Nylander, we've heard his name tossed around so many times over the last couple of seasons. What do you think his future holds up in Toronto? Uh, it's, I think it's coming to an end. And at some point this season, you'll, I think you'll see Willie Nylander moved. Um, he, By no fault of his own, he's no, been great. I mean, oh, he, he's, he's one of the he's most... He's priced himself out. He's one of the most underpaid players in the NHL. And I'm not trying to say that his game's perfect. Remember when he held out a couple of years ago and everybody's like, wow. Yeah. I mean, that deal is almost a bargain at this point. Yeah, a screaming deal for the Toronto Maple Leafs. But it, it's, it's not hidden anymore. Right? That this guy had 40 goals last year. He had as many as Austin Matthews. I'm not saying he's as good as Austin Matthews. Austin Matthews will get that deal done. A monster deal with the Toronto Maple Leafs. There's just not enough money to go around. Mm -hmm. And I think Willie Nylander, I love Love to see him get an opportunity to be the man somewhere, and I want to I want to see what that does for him. So I think I'm thinking of a team that would would I think be a perfect fit as far as the age and, and to get someone to be in that role. I look to Anaheim. Mm. I think the Anaheim Ducks they've got a boatload of young talent, and the Toronto Maple Leafs have been a very good team for some time. They haven't really picked overly high in the draft for quite some time. So use some of those picks that you have out there and. Uh, in, in Anaheim and you know, I don't know what that deal exactly looks like what would the asking price would be but I do know that that player in this lineup with that talent would be incredible because you know Zegers look at down the middle Tavish Carlson, Carlson. I, yes talk about Troy young. Terry over and the last for a long yeah, time Troy Terry over the last three years has become great now you got some of the veteran guys with Strom in there Henrik still there Alex Kalorn like up. all of a sudden now this team if you can make a monster move like that I think Nylander is clearly the guy he's going to be the guy I think he can thrive with that. Plus, we know Willie loves good weather and likes to, you know, he likes that kind of lifestyle Absolutely. too. So I think California would be perfect for him. All right, I like that. So we've done goalie, a couple of forwards. How about a defenseman right now? A guy like Noah Hannafin. He's moved around a couple of times in his NHL career. Yeah. Do you see a uh, potential trade target for him? Uh, so the interesting thing with Noah Hannafin is I don't think you're ever going to get him. He's not going to be at this point in his career. He's not going to be in the conversation for Norris. But what he will do. And, and it's almost like an offensive lineman. When you're not talking about him, that's a good thing, right? Right? Like they're doing their job. He's a minutes eater. He's a guy that you know what you're going to get with Noah Hannafin. Uh, his skating ability is a strength of his. It always has been, always will be. I think a team like the Philadelphia Flyers right now, they're trying to change this thing. And you need some foundational players. That You need some of those players where you just toss over the board, you know exactly what you're going to get, and you're going to get some good quality minutes on the back end. Uh, I think that that can go a very long way for a team. Just to, they, they need more stability, and I think Noah Hannafin brings stability. All right, we'll have to see. So the UFA market's still out there. The trade market, who knows? 50 days away from opening night. You never know what could happen between now and then.